What is up guys, Rick Hackers here, welcome to the Cactus HD weekly update number 9. Now, I'm sorry I didn't really do a weekly update last week, that's because there is really not much to update. Now, this purpose of this video is to just kind of communicate channel news to you guys, what's going on, and uh, also to do a Q&A to answer your guys' questions. If you want to leave questions for the Q&A, &A, just leave them in the uh, comment section below. Last time there wasn't too many people asking questions, so please if you have a question about you know me or any game really, any upcoming game or game that I play, just don't be afraid to ask it in the comment section below. Now let's get into the channel news. Firstly, the big news is that Borderlands Handsome Collection is coming out tomorrow as I'm making this video it's coming out the next day so here's the thing I haven't bought it yet and I plan to do it today I could very easily I'm, I'm gonna like uh, digitally download uh, on either console and that's a big thing I don't exactly know which console I'm gonna pre-order on the X-Bone has my saves from the 360 obviously huge advantage when I'm talking about Borderlands 2 I can go back with the characters I already have, like I have maxed out characters and I can go back and check which like glitches and techniques and farming runs are still working because they may have patched a lot of them. For example, um, the Captain Scarlet's treasure room run, you could like glitch up and get back into the treasure room. Maybe they patched it, you know, and it's going to be if I start completely from scratch. So if I get, get it for the PS4 and start completely from scratch, it'll take a while, like I won't be able to necessarily go and test that for a while until I legitimately level up my character to the point where he can actually do that quest. Whereas with the X-Bone, I can literally hop on and do it right away to see if it's working. And then just, that would help me get, you know, a video out to you guys right away. And again, making making videos about just general techniques, kind of culminating from useful stuff, you know, best weapons, weapons to look out for during quests and stuff, because I played a ton of Borderlands 2, like I was basically a dedicated Borderlands 2 channel before Destiny came out, and so, again, it, getting it for the X-Bone makes the most sense, simply because I already have the saves on Borderlands 2. Now, I also do have a save on the Xbox 360 for the pre-sequel, which I didn't play. I uh, played almost none of, and I've been over why, basically. You know, it wasn't fun to play without friends, because n none of my friends decided to get it, because it was for last-gen consoles, which is stupid, and that's why they're kind of making it. Yeah, I don't think they actually sold as well as they expected to, and I think that's why they're upgrading them to the new-gen consoles. So, again... So, I'm probably going to get it, if you couldn't tell, you know, I'm probably going to get it for the X-Bone. The problem is, the X-Bone absolutely sucks at streaming, which is kind of annoying. If I got it for the PS4, I'd be able to stream, I'd be able to have streams where I play with subscribers, all of that stuff. Again, the X-Bone can stream, but it's terrible. The quality is awful, it's constantly lagging, it disconnects randomly, and the worst part, the worst part, is that someone was paid money to develop this Twitch app, and they're so stupid that they didn't have the option to include party chat into the stream, so you can't hear what your party is saying, which is like, obviously, you want to do. Like, it's so awkward when you have a party, you're playing with fans, you're playing with subscribers, you're playing with whoever, and the stream can't hear what you're saying. That's ridiculous. Like, obviously, it sounds so weird. You're talking to some random disembodied voice. You're having two conversations, one with the stream, one with the, the people in your party. It's just awful. So, Microsoft, if you're listening, you got to get someone to fix that. Party chat needs to be able to be heard uh, for the X-Bone. So, again, it's kind of a... It's a lose-lose. I either can't stream on the X-Bone or you don't have my saves on the PS4. So again, as of this moment, I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably going to get it for the X-Bone, but it is a huge disadvantage because I would love to be able to stream the new Borderlands. And that's pretty much the big news, like the big channel news. Um, there isn't really too much coming out. You know, Destiny, the House of Wolves is coming out. Who knows when they keep delaying it. Um, to probably add some new content that we're going to breeze through in 20 minutes. So... I don't really have too much updates on that, but the big news is I'm going to be playing Borderlands and I'm definitely going to start and actually finish, like, play properly Borderlands the pre-sequel. So, there's probably going to be a few Borderlands the pre-sequel videos. I'm not going to abandon Destiny by any means. Please don't think I'm going to do that. But, you know, I'm a human being who likes to take breaks from games, especially if I've been playing that game non-stop. So, bear with me if you're, like, subscribed to me just for Destiny. I'm not going to be abandoning Destiny, but I hope you can, like, realize that I I don't 
I can't play Destiny non-stop. Now, that's pretty much it for the updates. The main update is the, the Borderlands uh, Handsome Collection news. So let's go over the questions. So, uh, Darrell Martin asks, You seem to extremely dislike the loot system in Destiny. Would you prefer the loot system was the same or almost identical to Borderlands? Uh, if you cannot tell us your ideal loot system and how you would work with weapon types, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's a decent question, and yeah, I don't like the Destiny loot system, simply because it's been ruined by the Crucible. Um, I actually shouldn't say that again, it's been ruined by Bungie not knowing how to balance it properly with the Crucible. You can't have all the weapons balanced for PvP, and then make them really hard to get like exclusive weapons in PvE, because that just ends up with a very bland loot system. You don't have really cool, awesome weapons, you just have a bunch of weapons that, again, you can totally tell are balanced for the Crucible, that have been increased by the same uh, number of attack, and are bland again in PvE. It's simple, any idiot, a four-year-old could tell you that, I can't believe that Bungie didn't see this, and there's ways that they could do that would fix it for both Crucible and PvE that I'm gonna, um, probably gonna do a dedicated video on that actually. But, uh, the Borderlands 2 loot system, I wasn't a huge fan of either. I complained a lot about the Borderlands 2 loot system and kinda, and the reason was is that the Borderlands 2 loot, I, I felt that the Borderlands 2 loot system wasn't an upgrade for Borderlands 1. I think the Borderlands 1 loot system is probably the best of any game I've ever played. And that's simply because it actually had, when you're playing Borderlands 1 and you'd find a random purple weapon, it might actually be one of the best weapons you've found so far. Just because the stars align with the stats. And that's what the game was kind of supposed to be. You have all these random weapons and you can find one that is somehow amazing just because all the stats seem to be right. And that was the best part of Borderlands 1. Borderlands 2 they really went overboard with segmenting the guns to the different um, manufacturers. For example, uh, the best thing I can give you is bandit guns. Pretty much all sucked. Like, really, think about it. When you're going through Borderlands 2, you never picked up a bandit pistol. Or really, not very often, once you get through the very first playthrough of the campaign, never really a bandit SMG, never really a bandit assault rifle. Sometimes bandit shotguns were good, but the vast majority of the guns, because for some reason, they decided Gearbox to make the bandit guns slow shooting, and not do very much damage, and not be very accurate. Oh, but they have a really big magazine size? So you can constantly peg away at someone for half an hour. No one wants that. And again, it kind of took away from the game when you have whole segments of guns cut off. Like you're never gonna find a bandit pistol that's gonna compete with your uh, Torg pistol. It just, it really just won't happen. And that was a really unfortunate part of Borderlands 2. And that's why I still think the Borderlands 1 loot system. And if they make a Borderlands 3, they really need to harken back more to the Borderlands 1 loot system. It allowed for a lot more freedom with the guns. Anyways, next question, we are going with, because I'm Batman, good name, and his question is, if I've never played Borderlands before, I've never played a Borderlands game before, and I'm planning on ordering the Handsome Jack collection, which game, the pre-sequel or Borderlands 2, should I play first? Now, even though the pre-sequel is actually like the prequel before Borderlands 2, I would recommend the order to be Borderlands 2 and then the pre-sequel. And the simple reason is because... Borderlands, the pre-sequel, had a lot of references and uh, almost Easter eggs to Borderlands 2 that you probably wouldn't understand unless you played Borderlands 2 first. I would play them definitely in the order that they were released. And so Borderlands 2 first and then the pre-sequel. Now the next question we have from Edwin Vargas. And he asks, will you play Borderlands with the fans? And again, I've been over the whole which console, streaming, blah, blah, blah. But I'm probably going to get it for the Expo, and I will say probably yes. Um, obviously, since Borderlands is not like Destiny, and I can't just rotate teams of people going through the um, the raid, it's going to be a much less of an extent that I'm playing with fans. But I still, you know, I add friend, uh, add fans to the my accounts all the time and end up playing with them so i mean it's not a huge chance but there is a decent chance i'm going to be playing with fans and especially if 
Xbone and Twitch actually get their shit together and make a good app that can do the things I was talking about earlier, then I can see myself streaming Borderlands and playing with people doing like um, uh, streams where you know we go through and kill a, a raid boss or whatever, and then we rotate the teams like that. That is totally an option. But again, they first have to fit fix the Twitch app. And the last question comes from Dark Hero CC. So this is a big one. Will this Borderlands next gen pack additional content that is not released in the original games, or are they simply going to improve graphics? One more thing, I know you're not a fan of the Crucible and Destiny. Um, I am, but I think you've stated very good reasons why, blah blah blah. But what would you think of a balanced PvP mode in Borderlands? Firstly, to the first part of the question, uh, no. They're just improving graphics to my knowledge, and they're adding pretty much every DLC for the game. Now, for some people, even including me, I played the shit out of Borderlands 2, but when they added the Headhunter stuff, I wasn't interested. I was like way too I was too far gone off of Borderlands at that point. I think Battlefield 4 had actually come out at that point, so I was playing that. So they're adding literally every single piece of, of DLC for Borderlands 2 and all of the DLC that have made up to this point for the pre-sequel. So it's likely that unless you bought literally every single piece of DLC, it's likely that you're getting some new stuff with the Handsome Edition, including me and I played the hell out of Borderlands 2. But aside from that, they're not adding actually any new stuff to uh, the Handsome Edition. And to the Crucible thing, absolutely not. They should ne never add balanced PvP for Borderlands. And the reason being is kind of like I've already stated and kind of why Borderlands has a better loot system than Destiny. And the, and the fact is like... Borderlands was so awesome because you had certain guns that were unbelievable. There is no way that the um, double penetrating unkept herald is even remotely balanced compared to some of the other gold weapons of the game. The double penetrating unkept herald versus um, like the hellfire. There's the double penetrating unkept herald is so fucking powerful. It's so unbelievably overpowered. But that's why the Borderlands system is awesome because you go out of your way to get these incredibly powerful guns and if they introduce a PvP mode, could you imagine if everything was balanced, everything was bland, kind of like it is in Destiny? It really takes away from a lot from the game and people who maybe have just played Destiny and haven't experienced Borderlands who are picking up the Handsome Collection will probably realize, wow, it's really freeing when you don't have, you know, a, a PvP system and or a company that doesn't know how to balance for a pvp system and you just find these guns that are just amazing and just better than the stuff you have so again these two systems uh pve loot uh loot system based on exclusivity and a pvp loot system based on balance they just don't work so simple as that unless you have a company that can balance it properly again bungie doesn't know how to do that anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video um gonna be uh, trying to keep up with this weekly sorry i missed a week that was just because there i was really busy and there again wasn't really much to update so i hope you're gonna enjoy the upcoming borderlands content again not giving up on destiny but again remember to rate comment and subscribe and as always have a good day